All right, a few changes. Had to move some shelves, built another table over there. All right, let me show you why. <laughs> Ordered this about a month ago, a month and a half. It was about three to four weeks lead time. Came in two separate shipments. Long mill, CNC machine. Right here, baby. This is the 48 by 30 from uh, CNC Labs. Is it CNC or is it just CNC Labs? The way they spell it. I don't know. They're from Canada, so you know it's uh, machine's probably really polite. I ordered it about six weeks ago. Uh, lead time was three to four weeks, so a couple weeks ago I got the first box. A few days after that I got the second box with the longer rails in it. I also got a little uh, slidey kit to make a, a board at the bottom car. So I've been trying to get some other stuff done, get the garage a little cleaned up. But today I'm putting this together. Start assembly here. All right, I guess I gotta look something up. Man, they came dangerously close to covering up their little scanny with their tape. That would be annoying. Or just cut open the box and see what's inside. Welcome to CNC, what to expect, tools you'll need, missing broken parts, assembly tips, final words. Hello, Poof. You coming out exploring? You, you gonna go back in? What are you doing? Hey, all right, see you later. If they got a little welcome thing, instructions are online. I don't know if they're in the box too. Tools you'll need, they give you some. Um, what to do if there's something wrong, assembly tips. Yeah, so first off, I've been wanting one of these for a long time. Uh, I chose Long Mill, I looked at a bunch of videos on YouTube and uh, some other reviews, different stuff. For the price and for the size of the cutting area, uh, hands down, fantastic. The reviews of how sturdy the machine are and stuff were great, comparable to, you know, two or three other models out there that all also have pretty good reviews. I got this one with a little startup kit, comes with some bits and some other things. Welcome pouch. You're welcome. Ooh, there's stickers. There's things, it comes with the little Makita router, but I know that they sell and uh, they sell the mounts for bigger and other routers as well. Another thing about the long mill is you can buy the smaller one and then buy the rail kit to upgrade to the bigger size later if you want. I, they also have a lot of accessories. There's a laser attachment that you can get for this one to do laser engraving, different stuff. So there you go. A lot of unmarked boxes. All right, what is this? This is a big one. Come on. Long mill. Rail box. That's everything. Let's open the welcome pouch first. More stickers. That's all the instructions. Cool little multi-tool looking thing. As well as fancy little Allen in a fancy little Allen pouch. Safety warnings and guidelines. Yeah, what's, what else we got? Hello there, fellow CNCer. Congratulations on receiving your long mill. These three steps below will help you get all ready to start creating your projects three steps. Oh, the whole thing is three steps. Oh, it's fantastic. Learn how to stay safe using your machine by reading the safety and warnings guidelines on the back side of this page. I promise I will. See, and we're excited to see what amazing creations you make next. Well, I'm going to send you pictures of every one of them. If you ordered a long mill 48 by 30, your order will come in two separate packages, which it did. Okay, we got that. Hello, kitty foof. Kitty's out here. 
Hello, kitty. Hello, kitty. Where are you going? Where are you going? We're going to do internet cat videos. Where are you going? All right. See ya. Right. Long mill assembly manual. All right. This is some of the beginner's kit stuff in it. You get your uh, starter bit set. There's an emergency stop button in here. Some kind of a mount thing. 65 millimeter aluminum router mount. I don't know if that's for the one they send or if this is for a different kind. What else we got? Auto zero touch plate. It's supposed to make calibration really simple. And then what do we got here? Long board, I think that's the computer part of it. And magnetic dust shoe for dust collection. This is all really handy stuff. It's assembled. Now, now I got to download G Sender, which is the program made to talk to this thing. There's other programs you could probably use, but this one also includes. Uh, a lot of the setup and calibration and uh, smoothing out your, your, your baseboard and stuff. Uh, so, of course I'll use it because that's what they ask for. Um, now I just got to do that and uh, go from there. All right, be back in a few. Putting it together took better part of an afternoon, taking it slow, trying to learn as much about it as I could. The next few hours, were very frustrating. Uh, I downloaded the software and started going through and testing some of the stuff. So the Z axis, which is the up and down of the router, like plunging down into the thing, wouldn't go. I swapped out motors, I, I rang out wires, I tested connections, couldn't get it to go. So I open a ticket, they say attach photos, they say attach a video if you got it, you know, a description of the problem, anything you've done to try and troubleshoot this. Gave them all the information I could. Very next morning, emailed me back, said, hey, we're so sorry about that. Uh, we think it's a control board or the uh, motor driver portion of the control board. And uh, we're gonna send you a new control board. It's in the mail. You know, there you go. Almost a week later, uh, I got the board in, 
uh, swapped it out, which is actually what you saw at the end of that little collage. It was me putting the new board in that box. The box comes pretty much pre-assembled. You don't ever have to take that apart. Uh, swapped it in, everything worked great. In the meantime, while I was waiting on the computer board, I went ahead and was working on the waste board and everything so that that would be ready to go once the new part got here. So what I did was I just moved it all the way back and all the way front. Judge the cutting size or the, you know, work area and then made sure that they came down at least to there. I kind of guesstimated the distance each one needed to be based on total measurement. Mini bikes going down the street. And uh, yeah, so. And then I just used the holes that were in the rails to go ahead and mark the spacing. That way they're all sort of the same. So you go ahead and surface the spill board and the waste board so that it's smooth and flat and level to the machine. It's doing it! It's doing it! Right now, recording this, I've had this for almost a couple months now. I've done another little set of projects on it. I've gone through and uh, worked out most of the kinks. We have had <laughs> issues um, where it's chewed into stuff. I went through uh, a couple of routers, uh, a couple of bits. Uh, the guys at uh, CNC Labs, uh, Jason in particular, hey, thank you. Uh, like I said before, man, every morning, like clockwork, that guy would return an email, tell me uh, some things to check based on the issues I was having, the problems I was having. Let me show you what I've done to the machine since it was new. One, I put it together backwards from the instructions, which they say in the instructions you can do. I ran all my cables to the right instead of the left just because of my table placement. I had a little spot over here uh, that I was planning on keeping a computer and stuff over here while you're using it and whatnot. What I found was it's a lot easier. I put this little thing up here, it was off a tool cart, uh, to put the computer here so you can have it while you're in front of the thing. Over here on the side, there's the power supply. And then this is the, the computer. I hung it off the side so that there'd be more airflow around it, right? And then on the back, I even put two PC fans that suck a lot of air through and they're controlled from that knob. And you can feel the airflow right there because it gets hot in this garage, especially here in the summer. So I got that. One issue I had was the cable that connects to the computer was the original one. So I was doing, I don't know, I was a couple projects in and, and it kept disconnecting. Whoa, 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 lost, lost signal or lost communication or whatever, whatever. And it was getting really frustrating. Uh, and I went online and a bunch of people just said, no, just, it's the cable, even though it's new. So the cable that came with it crapped out right away. I ordered one, I ordered a new one, it's just like a USB, it's the, um, when I was younger they called it Firewire, but uh, I don't know what they call it now. Anyway, I had an old one from an old video camera that I plugged in while I was waiting for that one to get here, and I've never had a problem with it since. So, 
there you go. There is no more permanent solution than a temporary fix that works. So you got the computer, you got stuff. There's a e-stop button. This is the uh, auto zero touch plate. You put it down underneath the router and then you hook the little magnet to it and then it uh, calibrates itself that way. So I did the thing, I did the thing. Oh, also I added this little USB fan up here and while the machine's running, it blows air across and it actually does a really good job of keeping this stepper motor uh, cool. Those are warm. How long have they been on? All right, underneath, I use the shop vac and I run it through one of those little sawdust collectors up to a smaller hose and then it goes down to this little uh, vacuum attachment. It sort of clips and magnets on to the side here underneath and that sucks up all the sawdust while you're working. There you go. The lighting over here is weird. It's one of my old LED lights. It, it might have that wavy video thing in it. I, I don't know. We'll see. Overall, yeah, I had a few issues with it. Uh, there was a little bit of a learning curve, uh, getting to know the machine, but I gotta say, uh, CNC Labs, A plus customer service. They're right on it. Uh, everything I asked them, every problem I had, like I said, very punctual, returning the emails, uh, gave me all the advice they could, uh, helped me out, warrantied the part, top notch. So my review of the long mill, 48 by 30, it's pretty good. Uh, it's a good entry level machine for the price and the size of a work area. I'm really happy with it so far. Can't wait to get making on a bunch of stuff that I think this would be great for. This video's been a little bit different. Yeah, hey, thanks for watching.